Today we're going to demonstrate how to unpack, prepare, use, and store a macaw backpack. First off, we're going to start with undoing the latches that hold the top of this crate together. Use a screwdriver to pop that open. Pop that one open. There's four of them on this, so we'll take those two off. Pop that one off. Inside the crate, you're going to find the accessory pack with the optional uh, piercing nozzle. You're going to find the handset nozzle or the handset hose, the funnel. Backpack itself. Backpack, you're going to want to pick up with the handle, not by the high pressure line. You can pick it up from the handle here. Pick it up out of the crate and sit it here. Inside the accessory pack, You're going to find the owner's manual, which you want to read through thoroughly. You're going to find the foam accessory pack. You're going to find the smoothbore nozzle, which will come with your pack. The optional fan spray nozzle. And an optional mid-ax nozzle. Here, we'll start with adjusting the straps on the pack. Undo the chest strap. I'm going to take and extend all your straps completely out. The reason we extend them all the way out is just in case it's not yourself and someone else is going to be putting this pack on, you want it to be easily put on. The lumbar supports all velcroed in. You can take your your waist belt, extend it out. Flip it over, and it velcros in here. It's totally adjustable with that velcro. You take your lumbar support, stick it in there. Extend those out. Extend those out. That being said, on the back of the pack here is a quick fit and adjustment guide that will help you do uh, what we just did a little bit thoroughly. From there, I'm going to turn the pack around just a little bit. We're going to take our Handset, we're going to hook it into the discharge port with the quick connect. Just pull that back, stick it on there. We're going to grab out of the accessory pack our smoothbore nozzle, plug it in, same, same type of connection, quick connect, put it on, sit it there. Um, we're going to fill this. our fill port here with the water out of a hose we fill it till we get it full about five gallons now this is the reason for the funnel that we explained earlier in the field you may not have a hose so the funnel is going to be used in case you're pouring out a five gallon bucket or anything like that that you're going to use to fill it. Once the unit's full, you're going to add your foam concentrate from your accessory pouch, class A. 
you're going to want to dump the foam concentrate in very last after you fill it with your five gallons of water. So now we come to powering the system. The air bottle that you're going to have with your system is not going to come charged. You're going to want to get it charged. This is a 4500 PSI bottle. You're going to want to seat it down in here. There's a little seat for it. Sit it down and then a strap that goes around the top of it. It's an optional compressor port on the side here. It's an external compressor port that you can run off the compressor. Refer to your owner's manual how to use it. From here we're going to check our handset. There's a lock on this handset. You're going to want to make sure that it's, it's not in the locked position. It's in the open position. Locked, unlocked. We're going to take, connect our our bottle. You're not going to want to tighten this any more than hand tight. Tighten that up. Then you're going to turn your cylinder on. And when you turn the cylinder on, you turn it all the way on. You can hear that compressor kick a couple times. That's fine, that pump. From there, this is a valve adjustment. You can use when it's on your back or when you're on. It's wetter foam or drier foam. More than likely, you're going to be set on your drier setting with, with the smoothbore nozzle. You want to be on your drier setting. Now we're ready to put the backpack on. We're just going to step into it, step into our shoulder straps, tighten our hip belt down. Grab our shoulder straps, pull those down and tight. Chest strap, lock it down. Check our gauge. It's a shoulder gauge to know how much pressure is in our bottle. Then, we're going to grab our handset and we're ready to go. Shut down and storage procedure. You're going to take this knob and you're going to push it in and turn it off. There's a lock on it, so you have to push it in for it to release. Now that it's off, getting there. You're going to re release the pressure out of the out of the handset. By doing that, you're just going to pull the trigger. It's going to release all the pressure out of the system. Notice there was still fluid and foam in the in the macaw. We can store it if you don't use it all. You can still store it with what's left in there for next time, no problem. So, with that, you can empty this backpack about three times off a of one 4,500 pound cylinder. Storage, you're just going to release. This. Turn this back around here. Disconnect your handset from the just the quick connect. Now, if you want to store this long term, you can take and empty the fluid that you have left in, fill it with water, and then run a cycle through it. And that's where that wet. That's another place where that wet dry valve comes in. There. Plate. You'll want to take and turn it all the way wet, then pull your trick, turn your air cylinder back on, and pull the trigger and just let it cycle through until the water is coming out looking clean. If you have the backpack on still and you don't know if your cylinder is empty or not, you always want to double check this gauge here. That'll tell you whether or not it's still, if, you're, if your cylinder's still charged or if it's empty.